now discuss Republic Act 10912 or what has been known as the Continuing Professional Development CPD of 2016. So what is the Republic Act number 10912 all about? It is otherwise known as the Continuing Professional Development or CPD Act of 2016. It is an act which requires CPD as the mandatory requirement for the renewal of professional identification card. When was the law enacted and became effective? The CPD Act lapsed into law on July 21, 2016 and it took effect on August 16, 2016. So basically, um, prior to this date, um, there was no required any CPD points if you are going to renew your professional identification card in the PRC. When is the implementation of RA number 10912? RA, RA number 10912 took effect last March 15, 2017 upon the activity of resolution 1032 or the implementing rules and regulations IRR or RA 10912. When is the start to require CPD units for the renewal of professional identification card? With the exception of the professional teachers, nurses, certified public accountants, and real estate service professionals, registered master electricians, architects with respect to the age, the following shall be used as reference for the renewal of professional identification card or PIC in transitory period. So here, PIC renewal period, um, July to December 2017, minimum CUs required for the profession is 30% and in 2018, you are only required 60% but in 2019 and onwards you are required to 100% then pursuant to resolution number 11 2017 of the professional regulatory board of professional teachers the following is transitory period for the compliance to see use for professional teachers Okay, I will no longer tackle this because this is not ours. This is for the um, profession of registered um, teachers. The same thing as this one as it is intended for the nurses. And also this one intended for the accountancies or accountants. Now I'll just proceed to the next um, question. Are senior citizens exempt from CPD requirement? No. The law does not provide an exemption from CPD compliance for the renewal of professional identification card. So maybe you have your uncles or aunties or your mom or your dad um, who needs to renew their PRC ID for civil engineering even if um, they're already past 60 years old it means that they still have to comply um, what has been required for this Republic Act for CPT 2016 next question is how about the licensed professionals who are working overseas licensed professionals working overseas 
may attend trainings or seminars conducted by the foreign chapters or affiliates of accredited CPD providers. They may also attend training seminars conducted by non-accredited CPD providers and apply for credit units under self-directed learning and or lifelong learning. Next, under PRC Resolution Number 1032, you may apply as CPD provider. A natural or juridical person apply as CPD provider. Where to get the application forms? The continuing professional development CPD forms can be downloaded from PRC website which is this one, are available at Standards and Inspection Division Office, PRC PICC, and PRC Regional Offices. To continue, this is the requirement for civil engineers um, getting their CPD points. I will only highlight the important information here in section 1 during the transition period of the following shall be observed registered civil engineers working overseas shall not be covered by CPD requirement except where a civil engineer intends to practice the profession in countries covered by bilateral regional or international agreements such as the ASEAN Mutual Organization Arrangement or MRA, the required CPD credit unit shall be 45. Newly licensed civil engineers shall not be covered by the CPD requirement for the first renewal cycle, which is three years after obtaining their license. So, if considering that you had um, passed, you had graduated your BSc course and pass the licensure board exam um, for your first renew uh, for your first um, PRC ID or license license you are not required to have or to undergo any um, CPD points which is um, good for three years that is an advantage already because in getting CPD points you need to undergo or join um, seminars and other activities which will be discussed later on how are you going to get it just like this if you are required for 45 CPD points then you need to attend um, various or, um, seminars next is the CPD Council for Civil Engineers shall reduce the required CPD credit units for 15 for the renewal of professional identification card or PIC. However, senior citizens and differently abled persons are required to present 10 credit units. So it is already good to know that um, um, it has been decreased to only 15 for the renewal of um, the PRC ID. Uh, this is for civil engineers below 60. However, for those um, who are already considered as um, senior citizens, then they are only required for 10 credit units or CU. Here I am going to show you the matrix of activities for civil engineering as to how you will be able to get your credit units. For example, um, for non-formal learning activities, it, uh, it involves seminar, workshop, training, capacity, building. So if you are a participant, then the documents to be submitted uh, in support of the application for PIC new while are this certificate of attendance with number of hours, seminar program, and the list of participants. And then the 
number of credit units will be in accordance to the approved credit units for the program so it will really differ to the seminar workshop or train or capacity building that you are joining because it offers different numbers of credit units next sample if you be you become a resource speaker of um, certain seminar workshop or training or capacity building and it is accredited by PRC then what you need to provide is the photocopy of certificate that you um, provide um, validating that you are the resource speaker copy of papers and program invitation and this is equivalent for three CPD units per hour so if you were doing your resource speaking for two hours then it means you gain three CPD units next is if you are a panelist or a reactor uh, sample if you are a panelist of a certain um, research study uh, and then it has been accredited by the PRC that it can give you a CPD unit then the equivalent for that is two CPD units per R next is if um, you are a facilitator or a moderator of a certain activity then these are the documents that you need to submit to, the, to PRC and then you will gain one CPD unit per hour next if you are on monitoring of a certain activity an activity accredited by PRC to give CPD points then these are the documents that you need to submit and you will gain twice the number of the credit units for the program save if the program will offer around 3 CPD units then you will gain 6 CPD units next if, is if you are a participant in service training sponsored by employer and uh, make sure that everything of these activities um, are every activities are accredited by PRC to gain CPD units then you just have to follow the documents that you need to submit to PRC upon renewal of your PRC license. Then for this part, uh, if you are a participant in service training sponsored by employer, then the maximum of 20 CPD units for a 12 month period is what you can get and a fraction thereof on a pro rata basis. Here's the good thing. Uh, is if you are doing uh, some master's degree in civil engineering just like what I did when I did my master's in civil engineering so I get the full credit units for compliance period upon completion of degree this means that um, for that certain year of renewal of your PRC license then you don't have to worry to on attending to whatever activity or doing whatever activity accredited by PRC uh, because once you graduated from your master's degree then automatically it will give you the full requirement of CP CPD points upon renewal of your PRC license and uh, if you are doing and graduated your doctorate degree in the specialized area of civil engineering practice then full credit units for compliance period upon completion of candidacy so here are the documents that you need to present upon renewal and then um, university certification or diploma and transcript of records authenticated copy so the rest of the matrix of activities for civil engineering will be provided in the description of this um, video discussion in pdf form um, kindly check it and
this ends the discussion for our CPD point.